Super Squad, what's up? We're in Orlando, Florida. We literally just touched down and holy moly is it hot and holy freaking moly are we hungry. We flew Southwest, nice cheap flights, but they don't feed you on there. They just throw crackers, peanuts, and pretzels at you. So we're starving. Let's check out the vegan offerings that Orlando has to offer. Come on guys, let's do it. One of the things we were most excited to experience food-wise in Florida was this Orlando vegan market that Sassy happened to stumble upon on Instagram. We've got a ton of these food trucks, street food festival type of things all over San Francisco and the Bay Area, but we've never seen a full-on vegan version of it, so we were stoked to check it out. It was a little smaller than we were expecting, but even so, the fact that it was all vegan meant the number of vendors there still outdid the number of vegan options we're used to at any of these other types of events we go to back in Cali so that was a huge plus so many good options we even got to sample a few before making any final decisions just try the broth careful it's hot okay it's oh. all the ingredients in the soup the top portion is the broth everything here down is gonna be chunky it's really nice That's really good. There were savory dishes, comfort dishes, traditional handheld goodies, snack options, indulgent sweet options, and healthy sweet options. A huge variety showcasing just how awesome vegan food could be. There was definitely a little something for everyone at this event. And because there was so much to try, we decided to make a little bit of a three course meal out of this night and try to sample as much as our stomachs could handle. Our first round was from the first stand that caught our eye, Boca Fresca, Puerto Rican street food. We got their cassava cheese balls and tostones rellenos. Cheese balls, pretty self-explanatory. They were fried balls of cheese and they came with this sauce. We don't know exactly what it was, but man, was it good. Soft, crispy, cheesy, saucy, all the components that make up a perfectly delicious cheese ball. So good. Top look good. It's crispy and it's gooey on the inside. It's a nice tangy sauce. I don't know what it is, but it's good. Ooh. Man, you already used all this sauce. What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> Sauce is amazing. And the tostones rellenos were crispy fried mashed plantains piled with a mountain of mock meat of some sort. I think it might have been jackfruit and topped off with some avocado and some salsa and some sauce. We both thought this was amazing. The crispiness of the plantain chips with the chewiness of the mock meat all complemented by the toppings made for an extremely enjoyable explosion of flavors. Absolutely loved it, and we scarfed it right down and cleansed our palates to get ready for round two. For our next course, we grabbed a couple of handheld goodies, one from the Bearded Vegan, a Jamaican veggie patty, which was a light, crispy, flaky patty crust made from wheat and barley with a hearty filling of sweet peppers, onions, cabbage, broccoli, corn, and split peas. And the other thing we got was from Avenue A Eatery, Colombian street food in El Pesa empanada filled with lentils, potatoes, scallions, cilantro. Both were super good. Nice, crispy, flaky, flavorful crust with fillings packing even more flavor. The empanada came with a sort of chimichurri dip that set it off even more. So good, so good. And that banana blossom soup we sampled earlier was also from the Bearded Vegan and was also bomb. 
made me excited to try even more of what they've got. But after the second course, we started to feel our stomachs stretching out to their limits, but there's always room for dessert. So that's what we moved on to filling that last bit of stomach space with. And you already know, with the mega sweet tooth I have, we had to snatch up and sample pretty much every single sweet option they had. So we grabbed this sampling of sugar cookies from the bathing suit baker, and I'm gonna have a full on review of them in an upcoming video dedicated to our entire or Orlando Sweets Hall, but I did just want to mention here quickly how awesome these cookies are and how awesome these guys are because this batch actually ended up getting infested by these sweet tooth ants in our hotel room. We reached out to the bathing suit baker Dylan to see if there was any chance we could buy a new box. He met up with us and gifted us an even bigger box set of sugar cookie goodness. Just gave it to us. That is amazing customer service. Wasn't expecting that at all. We tried to pay the man, but he wasn't having it. Just wanted us to have the cookies. So I'm super appreciative and super thankful for that. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, the bathing suit baker for your killer kindness and your awesome cookies. Again, full coverage on them in an upcoming Orlando Sweets video. Be on the lookout for that. For the sweets we actually did have this night, the guava and almond butter loop, a sort of cookie sandwich on steroids. We didn't eat this one here. That'll be in the upcoming Sweets Hall video too, but we did sample them earlier in the event, sort of on camera, sort of off camera. Oh, that's really good. Oh, I like that. <laughs> they are so good. Super soft, super sweet, super delicious. And we also got an horchata flavored ice cream with caramel sauce and nuts. And both of these were from Crafted Goodness, plant milk ice cream and artisan desserts. Super awesome sweets from super sweet people. And we also grabbed an ooey gooey red velvet cookie and a chocolate brownie, both from Cake Cakes Bakery and both super delicious. That cookie was so soft, melt in your mouth kind of soft. Reminded me a whole lot of Mrs. Fields cookies, but a million times better. Probably one of the best, if not the best, vegan cookie I've ever had. So soft. What kind of sweet tooth crazed nut would I be if I didn't take all of these desserts and toss them all together to create the ultimate sweet tooth addict concoction of crazy sweet goodness. And that was our vegan street food three course meal. We also grabbed a snack bag of chicharrones to go. Ceci isn't even a fan of pork rinds at all and she wanted these and she fell in love with these. We sampled pretty much all of them. Their blueberry bag tasted exactly like crunch berries and it made your tongue blue. It was amazing and it was magical. But yeah, Ceci grabbed a bag of the spicy bacon flavor and mind you, she never ever eats pork rinds, yet she absolutely obliterated the bag nearly single-handedly over just a day or two. Savage, absolute savage. Didn't even share. She was like that cracked out chocolate kid from Hey Arnold with those things. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. But all in all, the Orlando vegan market was an amazing array of food from an amazing array of people. We had a great time, great food, and met some great people. Yessi is one of the co-founders of the event we briefly spoke with. Super nice, super big thanks to her for putting this whole thing together. And we also met Timothy, super cool dude who just moved to Florida last summer and has put together a Facebook page, Florida Vegan Eats, that is basically your one-stop shop for getting in the know about any and all vegan eats all across Florida. I've linked all the social media accounts of these guys and the businesses featured in the video to the best of my ability down in the description below. So if you find yourself in Florida and want to dig into some of the best vegan food it has to offer, definitely check them all out. And it looks like the Orlando Vegan Market is going to be a monthly event in 2020, so I hope some of you guys make it out because it is a great event. I know we will definitely be back for more. And originally I was just gonna do one giant Orlando vegan video, but just from this video alone, you see how much they have to offer. And this was just one stop. No way was the rest of what we ate on this trip gonna fit all in one video. So I'm splitting the rest of our Florida vegan eats up into multiple videos and the episodes will be uploaded one by one into a dedicated vegan Orlando playlist for your viewing pleasure. We ate at quite a few places 
places. So to make sure you don't miss anything, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know how to use all this vegan fuel to get into super vegan shape, make sure to check out our fitness channel, Zero to Hero Athletics where we cover gym and home workouts and everything in between for people with gyms and without anything. So make sure to subscribe over there to get started on getting into better shape with whatever you have without any problems. And to get everything strategically structured in full step-by-step -step training guides, head over to ZeroToHeroTransformation.com to get started and find the right one for you. For all the best ways you could be supersizing and super shredding your superhero physique for the ultimate zero to hero transformation. If you enjoyed this super vegan video, make sure you Hulk smash that like button. Share the video to spread the vegan vibes and help keep the super vegan squad going and growing. Leave some comments below about some of your favorite vegan eats. And again, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Until next time, super squad, go vegan and go well. Peace.